Hello ladies and maybe one or two guys. Welcome back this week. I had a really good week and weekend because it was my birthday and I went to Rawa and I got bit by a million mosquitoes. I'm wearing a lot of makeup today because I have this one enormous zit on my cheek. It kind of like messed up my birthday weekend because I wanted to wear makeup at the beach. Everyone's like, why are you wearing makeup at the beach? And I was like, oh, because we're taking lots of pictures. No, because I have this big zit on my face. If you're wondering, is that something on my screen? Don't try to rub it off. That's a zit. That's not going to go away. <laughs> I'm really excited today because we're going to be doing the Naked Smoky Palette. And this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes because I feel like it's the only one that you really need. I mean, I have 15 eyeshadow palettes, but if I had to pick one, it would definitely be the Naked Smoky Palette. What we're going to do today is just use this one palette to transition from a day look to a night look. If you have small and hooded lids like I do, and you have trouble doing a smoky eye, then this video is for you. To start off my daytime smoky look, I'm using this Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. And this is really good if you've got oily eyelids. It's a super, super matte color. So once you apply it, all the colors will show better and last longer. And this is especially great because you're gonna be layering a lot of colors for the entire day. So it's good to nail it all down first. So on the palette, there's this really nice shade called Combust. I think it's the closest to most people's skin tones. And I put that all over the lid and almost up to the brow. And then for the brow bone, I use 13, which is a slightly lighter matte color. I put 13 on my hood and on the inner corner of my eye. And as you know from my previous video, I do have hooded eyes. So I always try to use matte colors when going above the crease so that my hood doesn't look more like a Neanderthal. So I don't want light to reflect off my hood, so I use 13. And once I've applied that, I'm going to go to Whiskey into my crease. And this is a really deceiving color. When you look at it, it just looks like a chocolate brown, but when you apply it, it's kind of this grayish color, which I don't even know if that's a real word. It's kind of color my eyebrows. So it's a lot darker than it seems. So use this very, very sparingly if you're using this in the daytime, because it could almost look black if you put too much on. Once I've blended the Whiskey all into my crease, I'm gonna go over it with Combust, because that's my transition color. And then I'm going to pat 13 right into my lid just to make it stand out more. And once I have a really nice matte base on the lid, I'm going to use this really lovely champagne color. It's called Dirty Sweet. It's a really lovely gold that really is highly pigmented. Like it almost looks like it's wet. And that's just to make my really small eyelids stand out. And this is kind of the look right now. So all I have to do is just blend it in more. Go over in a half moon shape, just over and over and over and over and over again. And I like to hold it at the end of the brush so I don't have too much control of it because I want it to look really, really natural. I'm not gonna use eyeliner because this is already pretty dark for a daytime look. I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and apply a really thin coat of mascara. Once I'm finished with the colors, I'm gonna finish off my eyes with a little bit of brow gel just to clean it up. I'm just gonna move on to the cheeks and since this is pretty heavy for a day look, I'm just gonna use a really light cream blush. I'm gonna use a coral because that looks best with my olive skin tone. So now that I have a healthy flush, I'm just gonna use a really, really light tinted blush balm because it would look insane if I had a strong lip and a pretty strong eye for daytime. I don't want to look like I'm just like rolling in from the night before. So that is my daytime smoky look with the Naked palette. So I've just finished work and let's say I have an event in the evening. This is why the Naked palette is awesome. All the shades are quite dark, but it's really nice because half the shades are matte and the other half are shimmery. The first color I'm going to use to transition into a nighttime look is Smolder. So I'm putting Smolder on the outer corner and inner corner of my eye just because if I use too much dark makeup on my eyes, they're going to look really small because my eyes aren't that big. I'm just going to anchor this smoky look a little bit more with Black Market because I just don't feel like it's dark enough. So just using this really, really, really dark charcoal color 
I'm just gonna anchor it into the outer corner of my eye and nowhere else because it's way too dark. And using whatever's left over on the brush, I'm just gonna run it under my bottom lash line. And then just on top of it, I'm gonna use Smolder again to just lighten it up. And then going back into Dirty Sweet into the lid just to make my eyes a little bit more three-dimensional. And it's really important to open up your eye in really strategic places if you've got small eyes. This is like the basics of like the finished look. I'm just gonna blend it in a little bit more with my brush over and over and over. With a smoky look, always blend. So that's my look for just the eyeshadow. To finish off my eyes, I'm just going to add some gel liner and wing it out. And this kind of finishes the whole smoky look. So at this point, I'm gonna be using a different eyebrow product. In the morning, I used a gel. Now I'm gonna be using a powder just to give it a little bit more shape using an eyebrow brush. Since my eyes are so dark, I need to have a little bit more definition in my forehead mustaches over here. And then I'm gonna blend it out with a spoolie because it's looking a little bit too dark. <laughs> Before I start contouring, I'm gonna remove my lipstick because I totally forgot to take it off. So now I'm just gonna start contouring. I'm gonna be using a matte bronzer to just add a little bit more dimension to my face. And I just do it in like the three shape on my forehead, blend into my hair, under my cheekbones, under my jawbone, and down my neck. Just give my face a little bit more dimension because you know, nightclub lights, you can pretty much pretend to look like anything in those clubs. So I'm gonna be using just a highlighter down my nose bone, my cheeks, and I put it on my cupids bow on my chin just to bring out those angles. I know it seems like a lot, so that's why I'm not adding any more blush. Fortunately, cream blush lasts all day. To complement my eyes, I'm just gonna line my lips with this liner and then fill it in. And this super moisturizing lipstick is really, really nice with this lip liner because the lip liner is a little bit dry. And then to finish it all off, I'm gonna add a tinted gloss. All three of my lip colors are nude to offset my super dark eye makeup. Thanks so much for watching. I would love to know what you guys think about this look or how you guys used a Naked Smoky palette. Don't forget to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.